It's called steampunk and it's a movement that's growing, fusing Victorian style and ingenuity with 21st century social media and culture. Pretty soon, steampunkers from across the country will be converging on Waltham for a three-day steampunk city extravaganza. Organized by the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation with proceeds going to repair flood damage from last year. International Steampunk Weekend is May 6th, 7th and 8th this year. We are taking over the downtown city of Waltham. It's like Ringling Brothers meets Industrial Revolution. Uh, we have things like a Victorian houseboat that's coming down the Charles River. We expect between 10 and 15,000 spectators. Those are big numbers for a movement unfamiliar to many. So what exactly is steampunk? Steampunk is retrofuturism. It's if the future had happened in the past. The movement has its origins in literature, inspired by the landmark science fiction of Jules Verne and continuing from the mid-1980s to the present day with books like The Difference Engine, an alternate history novel by well-known cyberpunk authors William Gibson and Bruce Sterling. While the Victorian era steampunkers were looking forward, their latter-day equivalents are looking back. What would happen if we took the technology of today and threw it back to a similar time, back to the Victorian era? And the Victorian era was very similar to our uh, decade today in that technology was expanding at a rapid rate. There was this idea that we were going to control the world and there was nothing that we couldn't conquer. Today, steampunk embraces all aspects of culture, the web, art, music, design, fashion, and film. In this scene from The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, a Victorian-style bazooka destroys a hangar full of zeppelins. The museum's expanding role in the steampunk community started last spring with a festival that drew a large crowd. She thought she'd bring in like 300, 400 people. She brought in over 1,000 people. Since then, there's been a steampunk design competition and a monthly meetup that draws steampunkers from across New England. The uninitiated have benefited from a popular exhibition that has tripled daily traffic through the Francis Cabot Lowell Mill where the museum is located. The steampunk aesthetic combines Victorian pocket watches, dirigibles, vintage goggles, and gears. The goal is to make old things new again and vice versa. A vintage mixer is rigged with a new steam boiler inside, an iPod shuffle is fused with an elegant necklace, and an old typewriter is attached to a computer. Although it all looks very decorative, everything is functional, including this contraption, an exercycle spinning wheel hybrid that illuminates a light bulb when pedaled. Steampunk's ties to Waltham are no coincidence. With its storied industrial past and 128 companies forging ahead into the future, the city and the museum are perfect headquarters for the movement. So we start with this Victorian history idea of innovation, but then today we have companies like AstraZeneca, like Adobe, like Microsoft, who are working right here, IBM, right here in this country to push technology even farther forward. The exhibition runs until May 10th. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.